Hey guys, welcome to the second Silk Plus tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Silk Plus keywords, Silk Spawn and Silk Sync. Um, so head on over to the Silk Plus website, click on the tutorial link right over here, and you can scroll down, go to the Silk Plus keywords, and check out their example. Um, they're using the Fibonacci algorithm for this example, so um, here's the implementation in Serial where they're using recursion. And then here's the implementation in parallel where they're using silk spawn and silk sync. Now basically what silk spawn does is it allows you to it, it basically specifies that you're allowed to execute this method in parallel with the continuation of the code. So basically this guy and this guy are allowed to run in parallel. Now we need to also note that it doesn't require you to run it in parallel, it'll just specify that you're allowed to run it in parallel. Um, it even explains that right here. It's important to note that the Silk Spawn permits parallelism. It doesn't command it. So Silk Spawn doesn't create a thread. It allows the runtime to basically allow a, an available worker to steal whatever available work there is if you want to do it in parallel. And the Silk Sync um, basically it simply makes you, it's, a, it's basically a blocking call that makes you wait until all of the child threads that have been spawned by Silk Spawn, it waits until them, it waits for all of them to finish executing. So that's basically what Silk Sync does. So when we're calculating the Fibonacci number, it's going to create these threads if it decides to, and then it's before it returns it has to wait for all those threads to finish. So uh, that's basically, um, that, that, that's the general idea of Silk Spawn Silk Sync. Um, they're also um, supplying a Fibonacci C++ file here for us to, to check out. So let's go ahead and copy all of this and paste it into our blank project. And we're going to do a little bit of cleanup on this and make a little bit of changes to this because right now, this example wants us to specify the number of threads to use in the command line arguments, so we're just going to get rid of that and just run it with all the threads that we can. So, there we go. So here's the parallel implementation. Um, let's go ahead and just for comparison purposes, we're going to make a serial version of this, Fibonacci serial. And we're going to rename it Fibonacci underscore S. We're going to get rid of the silk spawn and the silk sync. And then down here, um, this is timing the parallel Fibonacci. So now we're going to also, we're also going to time, so parallel. And this one we're going to do in serial. Get rid of these guys because we already declared them. Get rid of this. And now we want to make sure that we are calling fib serial for the second timing. Okay, so save that, uh, build it. And then we're going to want to run it without the debugger uh, because I think in the debugging mode when you're running it, it's not going to allow you to use all the cores. So if I've also got my task manager open down here so you could see how long or how much usage the CPU is doing. So we're going to go ahead and go control F5 and run the program and notice how each of these processors, each of these threads um, are going to start going like at 100% workload. So let's go ahead and run this. So notice that they went to 100% when they were calculating. So let's see our results. So in parallel, it took 1.8 seconds. And in serial, it took 2.1 seconds. So we can clearly see that the parallel implementation is a little bit faster. But if we were to increase n to something higher than 39, let's maybe go, let's go like 42. And let's see the what the difference would be. So build again run and notice the 100% workload 
There it is actually taking a little bit longer, but now it's done. Now it's going to do it in serial. And notice that it's not at 100%. It's only going with one thread, which is this guy right here. So now we've got a bigger difference. It's close to two seconds. I think this is about 1.8 seconds difference. Uh, so we can tell right away that the parallel, the parallel implementation using Silkspawn and SilkSync is definitely faster than the regular implementation that we're used to.